Hey guys, so in the last video we live axle kit swapped this go-kart and there are a couple problems with it which I failed to mention last time and the first one is this chain is way too tight the reason the chain is set up in such a tight configuration is because it skips and the reason it skips is because this axle gets closer to the engine plate as you accelerate and as you sit on it so the problem is here is that this distance here is much too long so what we're gonna have to do is add another bearing just around here. And we're gonna do the same thing for this side as well. And for you guys who didn't know what we started out with, this is what we were working with. We've got ourselves a new set of bearings. These I ordered from OMB Warehouse. Thank you, OMB Warehouse. Not sponsored by the way, but they're just very good. I had to have them imported from America and they only took a week. All right guys, I have cut and notched all the parts which we need for at least one side of this go-kart. Before I was gonna weld this up finally, I figured that I would put this on just to see what it had, see what it looked like with this new reinforcing bracket on there. I didn't leave any space at all for that sprocket. Yay, time for a complete redesign. I'll get back to you guys when I've done it. Alright guys, this is what we're going to be going for, but I've been having kind of a dilemma on whether to weld this or bolt it. I feel like bolting is a more temporary solution and feels more like an afterthought than welding, but also at the same time, racing go-karts are bolted. So I'm not really sure, I think I'm just going to go with bolted for now, make sure it all works properly, and then if it does, I'll weld it fully. So we've mocked it all up, and I have to say I'm so glad I went with this design instead of the other one. It works and looks so much better. Look at that space in between the sprocket and the bearing. That's perfect. That's not going to bend at all. Whereas the brakes on the other hand, well, we'll have to see how that goes. If it's a problem and this does bend inwards, then I will put another bearing here. But up until then, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. So guys, it is a lovely day out right now. We're running the 63.2 sprocket on this go-kart. Let's go take it for a rip. And hopefully we won't bend up any of this axle. So it's gonna be perfect. And the steer on that is incredible. So yeah, the gearing ratio is completely off. Because for driving in a yard this small, this clutch is getting smoking hot. Let's see if it'll melt my shoe. I can hear it hissing. So this clutch is getting smoking hot right now. And uh, that is less than ideal. Alright guys, let's go ahead and change out this sprocket for a 72 tooth. Hopefully that will give us some more torque in the corners and let us drift with these fat tyres. That's crazy. 
crazy fast now. This is still not got any better. Come on, stiff, stiff. So guys, that's all that we have time for today. On top of that, I got a cold. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. We'll be addressing the understeer issue. I think it's due to there not being any traction on the front and loads of traction on the back. As you can hear, my voice is terrible. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. See ya.